So I've tried to record this about 60 times over the last hour, guys, but for some reason it keeps cutting out. So fingers crossed it's actually going to work this time. So, uh, you know, let's go. Hey, welcome back, everyone. General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode. And welcome, my friends, to a strategy video. Now, over the next 10 to 15 minutes, we're basically going to try and teach you the secret to funneling and destroying any base in the Clash universe. No matter what Town Hall level you are, no matter what base you are attacking, guys, there is always the potential to three-star that base. So just imagine this, one day you're in global and you come across my base, guys, the sacred General Tony base, and you wanna smash me, you wanna hashtag smash Tony down below in that comment section, guys, hashtag smash Tony, you wanna three-star me, that means you're gonna need to funnel in and take out the Town Hall and all the other defenses in the center. So this video is basically going to teach you how to do that. As I said, it's going to help you in war. It's going to help you if you're trophy pushing. And it's also going to help you if you're farming. So uh, let's get ourselves into the video, guys. It's going to start with some replays showing you how to funnel. Then we're going to do some live attacks. Hopefully you enjoy it, guys. If you do, drop a like, drop a sub. Let's go. Oh, by the way, guys, in eight hours time, there will be a Q&A, a face cam, and a giveaway live on the channel. If you want to ask me a question for the Q&A, Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's where I will be taking the questions from. It is General underscore Tony. If you want the chance to win the iPhone 6, this is your final chance, guys. Drop a like on the video to enter. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Only subs will have the chance to win. There is a link in the description box. Click the link. Click enter. Good luck. Eight hours time. The giveaway, the face cam, and the Q&A will be live. So we're going to start this off, guys, by actually focusing on troops and, uh, sorry, on air troops. And we're going to choose the balloon as one of the main troops because the level 7 balloon is actually, in my opinion, the most powerful troop in the game. Statistically, it is, and it's so damn awesome since they actually buffed it a couple of weeks ago, guys. So this is going to be focused on air attacks. If you do want to see the ground version of this video, 5,000 likes, and we will bring you it in two days' time. Okay, so here we go, guys. Tony is about to show you how to hashtag smash Tony, except we're going to be smashing this guy. He is called Firdos, and he is from Clantastic. So this is only a Town Hall 10. Don't worry, there will be some, uh, some Town Hall 11 attacks coming very shortly, guys. We are using a very cheap army. It's very cost-effective. It's very time-effective, and this is kind of like a farming strategy. But as I said, guys, balloons, my opinion, the most powerful troop in the game. Let me know what you think the most powerful troop is, but for me, it's got to be the balloon. So we're using a very heavy balloon army. We're using some minions, some other troops, and a couple of spells and the heroes. So this is how we're going to work it out, guys. We're going to break it down for you into different stages, how to funnel your troops into the center of a base. Now, remember, one of the most important things before attacking is to actually know that you only have three minutes to take down a base guys so if you want to three star it you've got to be kind of quick but you've also got to take your time so uh, let's see what the first stage is okay so stage one remember this is the air version only this is air funneling locate the archer queen and take her down now when you're locating the archer queen you also want to ensure that there is an air defense close by because you don't just want to take down the archer queen guys you want to grab as much as you can because we are greedy and we want to destroy these bases. So I've located the Archer Queen. She's next to an air defense, but she's also next to an Inferno Tower, which means we could potentially grab loads of defenses plus the Queen with a single kill squad. So we're going to be sending in the heroes, guys. But to begin with, we're going to be dropping in the Wall Breakers right there. So there go the Wall Breakers and they have taken down those level 8 skull walls. Now, just before I send in the heroes, I actually noticed... That there was an air defense, an air sweeper, a wizard tower, and an archer tower located on the outside of the base. And it looks like they're very easy to grab. And we're about to break the rule here. We're actually about to send in some troops before I even send in the kill squad, guys. So check this out. We're going to drop in a haste spell. I do have five haste spells, and that means I can actually waste a couple of them. Haste spell's going to go in. A couple of loons. And we're going to grab ourselves four easy defenses. It's as easy as that. Check it out, guys. Wizard Tower is the last one to go down, and there it is. So now that we've actually taken down that building, a minion is going to go there just, just to do a little bit of cleanup. But this is where it gets interesting. So we're about to funnel in the kill squad, guys. We're about to send in the kill squad, the heroes, and those five wizards. However, taking a look very briefly, check this out. So if we send in the heroes, we want them to go to the air defense on the left-hand side. We want them to take out the Archer Queen, but it might not actually happen because the closest building to that cannon 
is that archer tower and then they're going to go down to the mortar. So we need to stop that from happening. We want them to go left. We don't want them to go right. And to stop that happening, we're actually going to drop down another haste spell and a couple of balloons, guys. So check it out. Check this out. This is a secret to funneling. You've got to be smart. So there goes another haste spell. There go three more balloons. And they're simply going to take out those few buildings. And they're also going to grab the cannon, guys. That's a bonus. I didn't really expect that. I didn't really need it. A couple of minions for the cleanup. And now we're going to send in the heroes. Here goes the kill squad. So now the heroes are going to go straight to the left-hand side. There go the wizards to make the final few buildings go away. And here goes the queen and the king. So the uh, defending queen has already gone down. There goes the barbarian king's ability, guys. And because we've done such a great kill squad and a funnel at the start, it's going to allow our archer queen... To actually swing directly into the center of the base and believe it or not she's going to take down an inferno tower before we even send in the main attack guys so here we go inferno tower is about to get taken out that is beautiful check it out look at that if we just pause it look at the destruction we've done using such a small amount of troops guys we've taken down half the base and we haven't even got started so now we're going to go into the uh, the second stage or the third stage of the attack guys and that is to ensure that the main army actually go into the center of the base. So if we look here on the left hand side, there is nowhere to go past that cannon. There's no defenses here, which means they're gonna go directly into the center where the expo is and potentially take out every single one of those defenses. On the right hand side, it's pretty damn similar guys. There's nowhere really to go apart from that cannon. They're gonna go directly into the center and that means that the potential for a three star is a lot greater. So here we go guys, here goes the Balloon Army. Now we've actually dropped a lot of them over on the left hand side because from the left hand side, as I said, they're going to go directly into the center of the base. Now we've got a couple over on the right just to take out those final few defenses and check this out guys. Cannons are about to drop and there goes the Rage Spell. So they're going to split into a couple of different groups. Some of them are going to go down the right hand side but because we did make that funnel at the start using the heroes, the rest of the Balloons have already gone into the center of the base guys and it's pretty much game over from this point you can see the funnel was fantastic and this is how you actually you know farm in an efficient way so i'm going to show you how much this army actually costs it's so damn cheap it's unbelievable guys and uh, of course it barely costs any dark elixir so if you're farming dark elixir and uh you know you want a cheap army which can actually three star pretty much any base out there this is a great choice so check it out, Minion's going to take out the final few buildings, guys. So there goes, I think that is the last Builder's Hunt, 99%. There goes the 3-star. To be honest with you, I wasn't going to get the 3-star, but because it was for a video, I decided to do it. So we're going to get ourselves into a Town Hall 11 replay this time, guys. Then we're going to do another attack at the end, and uh, we're going to see what actually happens in the next one. Okay, so check this out. Here we go. Just going to pause the video. We've landed on a Town Hall 11. Now, it's a very similar kind of setup, guys, in terms of locate the Archer Queen and go from there. Now, for me, I don't always take out the Archer Queen because sometimes I may just, you know, kind of go with the flow and allow the minions behind the balloons to take out the Archer Queen, guys. So let's see what I actually done inside of this replay. So we're going to start off by dropping in the wall breakers over on the right hand side and then the kill squad is going to go in. There is no need to funnel guys because the heroes are going to go straight into the center. They're going to take out these defenses and it's not really going to be a problem. So the air defense is right there. There is also an air sweeper and if we can grab the two of those buildings that would be a great start to the attack. Check it out barbarians ability has just been used. Unfortunately the archer queen is actually hiding behind the wall. And that means that my Barbarian King didn't quite get access to her. So this is where it gets a little bit dodgy, guys. There goes the Queen's Ability. She's going to take out the cannon. So for some reason, the recording actually decided to completely corrupt, guys, at this point of the video. So this is going to have to be a voiceover to finish the rest of the episode off. And uh, we're just going to carry on from where we pretty much left off, guys. So check it out. The haste spell and those balloons going to clear out loads of the buildings on the left-hand side, those defenses. And that is going to solidify the actual funnel into the center where the town hall the dark elixir eagle artillery and those inferno towers are situated now just to be 100 percent solid we're going to pick up this last the final archer tower and we're also going to grab that mortar guys which was a bonus and now pretty much the rest of the army the loons the grand warden and the minions they're all going to go directly through the heart of the base we're going to pierce them straight through the heart and this is going to allow us 
do you know, grab the Town Hall, get the 2 star, possibly grab a 3 star, so check out the rest of the raid guys. 3 haste spells are about to be dropped down, minions and Grand Warden just behind the balloons. Grand Warden's ability is going to be pop nice and early just to make sure the Eagle Artillery doesn't do too much damage and you know the defenses. Rage spell on the left, free spell on the right. Second rage spell going to be going down in a couple of seconds. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I did not see that air sweeper there. And that actually caused a little bit of a problem. So, um, you know, if you want to be extra cautious, make sure you locate the air sweepers and try and take them down, you know, as quickly as you can. So drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed the episode so far, guys, and subscribe to the channel. We're actually about to get ourselves into a live attack, but obviously the audio has corrupted. So it's going to be a live attack, but the, uh, the, the voiceover, the commentary is going to be a voiceover, guys. So it's going to be a live attack, but it's going to have my voice talking over it. Unfortunately, I can't, you know, grab the audio from it, guys, but it's actually going to be a great live attack, so uh, stay tuned. This raid is just ending off a couple of minions picking off the buildings on the left-hand side, but I mean, check it out, guys. Look at it. 75% damage, roughly, and uh, it's a Town Hall 11. We basically destroyed it using a very simple army. Don't forget, we didn't have an attack in Clan Castle. We're using a mass amount of balloons. We're using minions. We're using cheap, relatively cheap troops. And uh, it's worked amazing. So check this out. Live attack coming up. Town Hall 11 is about to get wrecked by General Tony. So the rule was we were going to attack the first base we landed on. And this is the first base we've landed on. So check it out. Eagle Artillery Town Hall in the center. It has two single target Inferno Towers, which is really bad for the initial kill squad for the heroes. So because of that, we're going to locate the Queen. Now she is actually under construction, which is great. And there are two air defenses here in the same pocket. And that means we can actually potentially grab two air defenses, guys, using just the two heroes and the five wizards. And if that's possible, then the three star will be on the cards. So check this out. King's going to go down. Queen's going to go down behind. Now we're hoping for the king to go off to the right hand side and the queen to swing along to the left. And that is exactly what happens. Kind of. Check this out. So Barbarian King's ability gets used. Some of the wizards and the barbarians take out the air defense on the right hand side. There we go, it goes down and the air defense on the left hand side is about to get slaughtered by the heroes. So really, this was one of the best kill squads we could have hoped for, guys. We've pretty much cleaned out one third of the base and this is the perfect start to the perfect battle. So the Archer Queen is going to pop her ability in a couple of seconds. She's going to take out the gold storage and the rest of those buildings. Now don't forget, this was actually a live attack, so I was under a little bit of pressure whilst recording this and commentating at the same time. Unfortunately, you cannot hear the live commentary. So the expo is unfortunately not going to go down. Now we need to pick a side of the base to attack from. So if you take a look on the right hand side, guys, looking for the air sweepers, we've actually located them right there, two air sweepers. So we will not be attacking from the right hand side. So because the air sweepers are there, we're going to attack from this side instead. Going to use a couple of balloons just to make the second funnel and that's going to allow the rest of the army to go directly through the heart of the base ripping out this guy's town hall and taking home a two star at least so we're up to 32 percent so far hey spell has been deployed just going to send in a couple of extra loons just to take out that final cannon guys just to solidify i always i always like you know talk about this solidify the funnel so that you are insured to go into the center of the base. You don't want to be 90% going into the center. You want 100% guarantee you're going into the center of that base, guys. And in order to ensure that, you may have to waste a couple of extra troops. But it's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't front about it too much, guys. Check it out. Rage Spell's going to go down straight over the Eagle Artillery. They're going to take out the core of the base. Minions coming in behind to clean up the Town Hall. Eagle Artillery's down. Free spell on the uh, the Rage. Sorry, free spell on the, um, the last final few defenses. And check it out. I mean, we came so close to a three star here if we'd possibly brought you know a couple of extra loons and a rage spell inside of my attacking clan castle would have been guaranteed three star on this town hall 11 base so this attack strategy is so cheap so effective and this my friends is how you funnel if you've enjoyed this episode drop a like on it guys to show some support subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the q a in a couple of hours time follow me on instagram it is general underscore tony and ask your questions there i will see you very shortly guys have a great sunday Hope you've had a great weekend. Peace out.